Hello, everyone. How's it going, lads? Good afternoon. Hello. Yeah, I'm right, buddy. How are you? Nah, I'm not too bad, yeah. You're very welcome to another Pro Tipster live stream. So joining me are Pro Tipster Dan and Pro Tipster Martin. Uh, good to see you, lads. Ready for the weekend, yeah? Yeah, uh, so I've got a wedding tomorrow, so my wedding's a bit of, um, my weekend's a bit of a write-off. I probably won't catch much football at all. Uh, it's, it's always horrible when, when people put weddings on when uh, well, on, on Premier League days, isn't it? It's so <laughs> selfish. Know. So selfish. Um, uh, I know a friend of mine is going to miss the Champions League final because uh, his uh, one of his best friends decided to get married on uh, Champions League final day, which is the the unmanliest thing in the world. Yeah, I got a wedding that day as well. Um, <gasps> no. uh, in the evening, he's a Man U fan, so um, in the evening he's going to hook up a TV like wherever we are, and uh, we'll, we'll watch it. And watch Manchester City <laughs> win the Champions <laughs> League. Manchester City, yeah, probably Manchester City. Dan, you're very quiet. How are you getting on? Oh, you know, it's been a busy day. Um, I think <laughs> I've been this weekend to sleep. <laughs> yeah, Friday's been a bit mad at Pro Tipster Towers. But look, we're not here to moan. We're here to talk about football. We are. Um, about so, football. lads, uh, yeah, <laughs> moan about football. Uh, a couple of talking points, maybe, lads, that I found some news on. Um, I know Martin, you tweeted uh, you tweeted something earlier. Um, I'll give you the quote. I have a house and do not know what my neighbours do. I look after my family and my dogs. I say hello to them and wave, but that's it. It's not my problem. Oh, well, who is this and what's he talking about? Oh, you know who it is. I'll let da- I'll let Dan guess. It's Carlos Carpal, yeah. <laughs> and he's talking about um, I can't remember who his next game. He's talking about that. <laughs> Uh, Mar- is it Marius? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. he's uh, on about Marius. It's a it's a strange thing to be asked, isn't it, as an opposition manager? I mean, what you know, what what are you going to say anyway? You know, you can't you can't you can't say, oh, brilliant, he's not playing, nice one. <laughs> you kind of have to be like, oh well, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. A lot of managers would have just said, it's not my problem at the end, but I just love that he, he put that sentence in. <laughs> He's very, his quote, but was he always this uh, quotable uh, at, at Sheffield Wednesday? Yeah, he was, he was. Yeah. Um, well, what I'm with... <laughs> I've had it. <laughs> see Sorry, don't, don't worry about that. I'll Big be back question. Because um, Carl so Valial used to uh, coach in Turkey. I need to ask the Turkish guys if he uh, was quotable there. Was he just as good in Turkey, yeah? Now, I'm just making sure I have the Pro Tipster logo in. Look, that's all. See? No, that nice. That lovely. Who have you got there, uh, uh, Martin? Who's behind you today? Uh, it's Ian Wright. It's on the Arsenal shirt behind me tonight. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very cool. Right. Did you see uh, on Arsenal, Santi Cazola has been, um, he's been put into Arsenal's Europa League squad? Great news. I don't, I don't think he's fit for at least another month or two, but if they get to the latter stages, then he'll have a chance I think to or is, or is it like a, a, a John Terry type thing, you know, he just wants to wear full kit for when they win it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Um, and we got a message, someone asking for sure bets for today. Oh, there are no such things, unfortunately. Oh, there's no such thing as a sure bet, man. Sorry, sorry to disappoint you. There's no such thing as a sure bet, except it'll rain in Ireland. There's a sure bet for you, you know. And, uh, uh, tomorrow. The sun will come up tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. There's no, there's no sure things. There's likely things, but there's, there's no such thing as a sure bet. Yeah. Um, there's some good games uh, on tonight. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah. there's no sure things, but I, I do like the price of Dortmund with Bat Shuai making his debut tonight. Uh, uh, it's Bol- Dortmund and Cologne, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. I like Bolton speak Bristol uh, City. Although Bolton fans I've been talking to today on Twitter aren't quite as confident. <laughs> See, I've gone the other way. We went the other way on the podcast, didn't we? We disagreed. So I'll, I've gone for Bristol City this evening. So it'll probably be a draw. <laughs> so, uh, what else did I see today? Yeah, look, what's what's going on with, with Conte and at Chelsea? He, yesterday he was fired. Today he's not. What, what's what's going on? I, I don't know. Like A lot of people making up a lot of stuff on Twitter, I think, and, and trying to stir the pot a little bit. But... Um, rumours of Luis Enrique coming in to replace him in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be keeping eyes on it. Um, I think, you know, if Chelsea lose again at the weekend, then he, he probably is gone. 
Yeah, he'd be in trouble then. But like, nah, I, I, can, I can see him going back to the national team. Um, I think he had enough of club management. He doesn't. It just doesn't look like he's enjoying it, you know. Yeah. Uh, no. I, I think he's fallen out with Abramovich as well, which is the kiss of death. Mm. Mm. Absolute kiss of death. Oh, did you, see, did you hear about the part of Berlin? Yeah, that was brilliant. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard, Dan, but basically they said if anyone gets the tattoo of their club crest on their arm, they'll give them lifetime entry. Wow. I might, I might, I might go and get one myself. <laughs> I mean, what, you get, a, you get a tattoo for what? 50 euros or something? 100 euros, you'd have a nice one. And then your free entry to Puerto Berlin, which is what? How far is it away from us, Dan? It was six hours? Six hours. Yeah, uh, yeah I think up into Berlin, six hours by coach. Yeah, I was at the stadium a couple of years ago uh, for the, who was it? Uh, Barcelona and Juventus were playing in the Champions League final there. And it's, a, it's a funny ground because you walk into it and uh, it's, it's, built, it's, it's built into the ground. So you walk in at the ground level, but then as you, walk, as, you, as, you, as you walk into the stands, you're immediately like halfway up the stands. So you got you got to go down a good bit. And um, it's the old Olympic Stadium that the Nazis built. And... Uh, yeah. in, interestingly, if you're like a history nerd like I am, there's there's a couple of places. Uh, sorry, there's one place. There's one place where you can still find the swastika. Yep. Yeah. Right. And for the Champions League final, it was uh, covered over with stickers. Yep. Right <laughs> well, uh, can't remove it. No, it's on. Um, there's there's a massive uh, like a brass bell. That's that's like yeah, a statue. Right. Um, outside, just beside one of the entrances, so they can't just get rid of the bell. They want to keep the bell, but yeah, there's a swastika on the bottom right corner of the bell, and they just had some like Mastercard stuff around there, <laughs> like that. Um, what else is there news-wise? Uh, Ronald Koeman's going to be the Dutch coach. Mm. That's uh, yeah. Well, if, if anyone can save them, I guess he can. But yeah, I, I, they've had a poor few years, haven't they? But yeah, um, yeah. they've got some young talent coming through. You know, Van Dyke's half decent. I mean, he's getting on a bit now, but Nathan Ake as well. <laughs> not, not just him. They've got uh, the, the young centre back at uh, Ajax, Delight, Delight. Yeah. And uh, Justin Clive at Winker as well. Uh, uh, Ajax was, what, 18. He's going to be good. Um, well, he's going to be better than his dad. He's going to be good. Uh, right, look, so tomorrow's Premier League then, lads. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to watching? Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, I can't watch any of it, but um, I, I've, I've gone for a tip in the Premier League for tomorrow, for my Saturday tip at the weekend, um, and it's Arsenal versus Everton. Um, I think I think there's a little bit of value in both teams to score here um, at 1.90. You know, we talked about it on the podcast, but Walcott, I think he'll want to go there and prove a point, and, you know, he's done his confidence in the world good by scoring two goals against Leicester in midweek. Um, Arsenal are an absolute shambles at the back at the minute. Um, I think well, potentially because Sheldon is their only real half decent defender at the minute, um, so they've got problems there, which, which Everton can exploit with with their attacking pace. And um, Arsenal have won um, most home games this season, only lost once in the whole whole of last year. Um, so yeah, for me, both teams to score is very very appealing. What are the odds? Uh, one one point nine zero, and the fact Abamyang's it. I, I heard Abamyang might not play as well, which is a bit of a strange one. I think he's ill. I don't know whether I don't know he got ill from the changing climate or whatever. But yeah, he's not waiting down for the money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, it's nice to see Seamus Coleman back as well for Everton, actually. Yeah, yeah, be good, alright. And he had some he had some good encouraging words for, for James McCarthy as well. So. Uh, the two Irish boys sticking together. Um, Dan, what's your tip for Saturday? Um, well, I'm not going Premier League. Um, I'll be watching probably Burnley Man City before I watch the big game of the day, which is uh, Burnley City and Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, but my tip is actually a division lower than that. Um, Plymouth Argyle against Blackburn Rovers. Plymouth um, slipped to a defeat. They've, they've only lost once in 10, but Blackburn, my God, what a team they've been. They've not, not lost in 18 League One games. Unbeaten away from home since October. I've been on the Blackburn hype train for about three months now. Just keep winning for me. 
So I've backed him again for 1.74 away from home. It's a bit skinny, but um, I looked at the Plymouth team. One of their best oh, players, Jake yeah. Jervis, I think he's going to be out. There was rumours he was going to go and transfer down, but he didn't. Um, ex Birmingham City man. Um, Blackburn, missing Charlie Mulgrew. Um, he's injured. That's uh, rumours. Yeah, he, the rumours he was going to go to um, us on transfer deadline day, but of oh, course he got injured and that kind of blew it out of the water. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think Blackburn are going to win that one. 2 1, maybe. Both teams to score. That's what I would go for. Uh, Black burner at one point seven four. Nice. Your audio's kind of coming and going there, Dan. Is it coming and going? Um, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Wait. You were saying you're going to watch uh, Burnley and, and Man City as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know Burnley don't concede many at home, but I think Man City are going to. Uh, I'm going to show them again. Uh, it's like, like you said, eight wins to win the title. So I think win number one comes tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it'll be by at least two. I think they'll win maybe 2 0, but yeah, I'd like to see them score more. I, I love watching Man City play. I love what Pep's done for them. So, but yeah, big one, Boeing City Sheffield Wednesday. We're probably going to be missing one of our key players, Jack McComas. So don't bat Boeing City. Um, no, you so said that I, last week. Yeah, but um, without Magoma, um, yeah. Magoma is probably our, he's been our biggest threat. He's playing for a contract. Um, yeah. It'll mean they'll probably either have to bring in uh, Che Adams, who's one of our top players, but has been injured a lot. And he needs football. Or um, Hotter, who's been a six and a half million pound misfit. I'd like to see him play. I'd like to see him do well. But yeah. Sheffield went to a good side. And uh, we never travel well to Hillsborough. Yeah. Uh, the last time I went to Hillsborough, we got dumped 3 0 on Boxing Day, which was uh, a lot of fun. And our car got clapped. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, at Nels, uh, Arsenal and Everton, this was the big, the big Premier League game of the day, lads. Um, I know you've, you've given that for your, for your tip of the day, uh, Martin. Uh, yeah. Dan, what's your predictions for it? I think Arsenal will win. Um, I, I like Everton. I, like, I think Sam's done a great job. And like you said, walk up, uh, walk up to score would be a, a big one. Um, what, what was it? Five hundred to one for walk up to get a hat trick. Yeah, Five hundred to one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah but, um, I think I think Arsenal will do it. Even without, in fact, I think that it might be better if Aubameyang doesn't play because they can they can gradually bring in new players. So Mkhitaryan maybe to start tomorrow. Um, you know. Uh, Ursul, uh, so obviously, uh, now he's signed his big fat new deal. Um, but yeah. who, who are they going to play up front with no Sanchez? No, uh, well, I suppose it's Lacazette, isn't it? I, sp- it I think that, maybe that's the thing. Maybe Lacazette will get the kick of the backside he needs. You know, either either play well or you're dropped. Yeah, and you're done. Maybe. I don't know. Well, look, it's a broad sweeping generalisation from me here now, but uh, you know, French players aren't known for reacting very well to uh, getting a kick up the arse, though, are they? Uh, well, no. I mean, no. Dimitri Payet is a prime example. <laughs> yeah. I loved him for about six months. Yeah, I loved him as well. <laughs> I still, I still love him. But... Uh, did I see uh, a message come up? Um, someone asking yes. for tips. So, what, yeah, what was some... it? Brighton. Uh, it was Brighton, Reading, Norwich, Sunderland, Leeds, and West Brom. So if we can get our heads together, can we predict these right, games so for it? Let, 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 let me make these make note of this. Brighton, Reading. Norwich. Yeah. Sunderland, Leeds, and West Brom. I, I can give you one for Leeds. Leeds are playing Cardiff, so I, I, I'd go with both teams to score on that one. Cool. Well, that's that one sorted. I was looking at that <laughs> earlier, yeah. Brighton against West Ham. That one's, I think that one's yours, Martin. Uh, yeah, it is mine, but it's a. I I don't want to give my opinion because my heart always rules my head. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I I'm going to go for the West Ham win, but I, I don't listen to me. I think you need another opinion. Uh, to be honest, because I, I think we're good enough to to go there and win. But then again, that they did us three 0 at our place. Um, yeah, I think Brighton are good at home as well. Yeah. I mean, maybe go on the draw. The draw. I, I, I'm not sure Brighton are good enough to 
to thump us again. I mean, we had an off day, like and nothing was going right then. We were in absolute turmoil um, and deservedly got beat 3 0. But with Jao Mario coming in, and I think, you know, nobody's happy with the board at West Ham, but um, the fans will get beyond the players for sure at the weekend. And I, I think we can get Sank out of the game. Um, I don't think Brighton are as good as Palace, personally. I think we were easily match Palace in midweek. So I'd go for the draw in this game. My my head says draw, my heart says win. Okay. So, I don't know. Uh, double chance then, yeah? <laughs> yeah, potentially. Uh, double chance for sure the right, yeah. yeah. Or maybe uh, 0.5 what? on the Asian handicap. Mm. Uh, uh, what about West Brom, Southampton then? Um... Oh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. <laughs> that's a very um, tough one. I don't know. I don't know how it'd go. Um, I'd be tempted by the draw. Mm-hmm. Um, Daniel um, Storage could make his first start. I'd be tempted for under two and a half, to be honest. I don't know what the price is on that, but uh, I can't see many goals in that game. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to be one where neither team wants to win. Uh, wants, neither team wants to lose. Yeah. Uh, both teams obviously want to win. Need the team. Uh, let me get just getting the unders for you here, Mark. So under uh, one point six two. Mm, a little bit short, but short for a reason. I can see it happening. Mm-hmm. Should put all these then into an accumulator to get the price. Uh, what are we saying? So a draw. We're we going with draw. We're we going with double chance West Ham. Uh, we're going a um, not double chance. We're going plus zero point five on the Asian handicap. Okay, one second. Uh, internet's a little slow here. Uh, uh, Asian handy. Oh, come on, come on, internet. Don't let me down. <laughs> Pressure is on. Everyone, everyone's watching. Oh, uh, where are we? Uh, plus uh, 0.25. Okay. And where are we off to now? The championship? Yes, we are. We're off to. Uh, uh, so Reading. Reading, Norwich, Reading and Sunderland. Oh, we um, had. Uh, yeah, go ahead. You said, you said Leeds. Uh, Cardiff both teams score, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Reading are gonna to lose to Millwall. Um yeah, I, I think that could happen. Millwall do uh, right Reading right. Reading beat Burton, but it's their first win in nine games. They haven't mm. won in four at home. Millwall are unbeaten four. Millwall are unbeaten three against Reading. Um okay, Reading tends to beat Millwall at home, but I've just got a feeling this is gonna be a, a, like a a game with a couple of, uh, with a few goals, two one, no wall. Interesting. Um, what was the last one, Norwich? Yeah, I think I think personally Norwich could get the better of Middlesbrough as well. Um, I know, you know, thirteenth against eighth, um, so Middlesbrough a little bit higher in the table, five points clear of uh, Norwich. But I like James Madison for Norwich. I think it's a class act, and uh, you know, if he turns on turns on the style. At the weekend, then very good player. Norwich will win. Yeah, right. Very so good uh, they want five million for him in the window. Let's have it in. One, two, three, four. Did I miss someone? One, two, Sunderland. three, four, five, six. Ah, Sunderland. Yeah, Sunderland, Sunderland at home to Ipswich. Um, yeah, Ipswich. Ipswich to win. <laughs> that two to one. That's Sund- a fucking price. Sunderland were worse than a baseball against us. They were mm. one of the worst teams I've ever seen. Um, yeah. That is a cracking price for Ipswich, by the oh, way. Oh, that's a big accumulator, lads. Right, so it's uh, Brighton West Ham, so uh, it's West Ham plus 0.25. Uh, Leeds, Cardiff, both teams to score. Norwich, Middlesbrough, Norwich to win. Reading, Millwall, Millwall to win. Sunderland, Ipswich, Ipswich to win. And yeah. West Brom, Southampton, under 2.5. The odds on that... Uh, let me see now. There's a high one, but I don't know that bookie. So, bet 365, uh, mm-hmm. given 142 uh, to 1. So, not bad. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, for a great weekend. What was that, David? So, yeah, good luck with that, David, if you're going with us. And uh, yeah, you can buy okay. some pint. <laughs> <We'll come laughs> uh, probably won't now, but, you know, it's a lot, a lot of games. But sure, anyway, that's uh, that's. I that's think he's got a great chance, great chance coming in. That's the fun of accumulators, isn't it? Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, Atten for the championship, lads, that's uh, tickling your fancy on Saturday. Uh, I mean, Fulham, Nottingham Forest will be a good game. I'm not going to have a bet on it, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, both sides made decent signings, so, yeah, that'd be a good one to watch. Um, 
Wolves Nothing. against Sheffield United would be a cracker. Yeah. Yeah. Wolves against yeah. Sheffield United, that would be good, yeah. That'll be on telly as well, won't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it will be. Uh, and how many Aston Villa are going to score against Burton? That'd be a good one to watch. Zero. Snodgrass. Zero. That's not correct. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not Ross. <laughs> no, that's not. Theo Walker, Theo Walker scoring the only hat-trick this weekend. <laughs> Everton are going to win 4-3 or something. Darren ah, Bent yeah. to score on his uh, ret- uh, return to uh, to um, full sheds. Uh, yeah, for sure. Darren Bent. Darren Bent's played nearly everywhere now, isn't he? How old is Darren Bent now? 40. What, what was that? Will West Ham get relegated? Yeah, that's my mate that's just come jumped on and asked a question, actually. No, West Ham <laughs> won't get relegated. This is the Blackburn fan I was talking to you about yeah, earlier on. <laughs> Worry about your own club, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so look, the, the big one on, on, on Sunday then, lads, Liverpool and, and Spurs, I know we, we did talk about it a lot on the podcast, but uh, yeah, sure, remind remind the viewers what you went for. I went for Sorry, oh, I, miss, I completely missed what you just said, Paddy. Uh, so yeah, so uh, Liverpool and Spurs, we spoke about it a lot on the podcast the other day. Uh, yeah. Let's just remind people what, what we're going for. Oh, um, I've gone for a two-all draw. I think it's going to be... There's going to be goals, and I, I can't separate either side. So, two all for me. I've gone for Liverpool to win, 2-1. Interesting. Um, actually, interesting enough, it approaches the Towers. We have a little in-house game where we predict the results of one game uh, every every day. And the, 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 the game that's up on the board today is Liverpool against Spurs. Uh, what's uh, it looking like? How many people have gone for Liverpool? Right. So, five people have gone for Liverpool. Uh, six have gone for the draw, and only three, including me, have gone for the away result. Huh. Mm. It's, 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 quite, it's quite interesting because uh, we, the, the winners of the, of the office competition every week are different. Um, and I, I would love to tell you who to follow in the office, but uh, no one's got consistently good at moments. <laughs> Although so it's partly my fault because I, 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 I'm the person who picks the games. So I've been picking some. So you're picking mad games, man. You know, you're picking the Saudi Arabian B leagues and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, yesterday's was Copa Libertadores. Uh, uh, Tahira versus um, oh god, Colombian side, Independiente Santa Fe. Yes, yeah. and Santa Fe won three two. There you go. And did you have that? No, I, I, I had to. I had the draw, which was a shame because it was three two, and, and to hear it looked like they were going to hold on. But mm. No, well, didn't. No. That's the way it goes. Uh, what else happened on uh, that Saturday? Sunday mm. was there anything that jumped out? Oh, Atletico Madrid are playing Valencia. I'd say that would be good. I think pro tips of David uh, during the podcast. What did he give? He gave over two point five goals, didn't he? I, you did, yeah. you know what? I would argue with that because Valencia uh, played last night against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey, mm-hmm. and um, I'm told that um, Valencia might just might just as well have played statues. They had that little of the ball <laughs> in the first half, um, but it was a very tight game. Uh, it's it was only one nil, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah one nil. Uh, uh, I uh, I finished work last night at about half time in the match, and I, I, I went looking for it. I had a look at the stats before turning it on, and uh, there were zero shots on goal from both wow. teams in the first half. So I just went, nah, not bothered, you know. So mm. I didn't even watch it. It's like one of the first times ever I've not watched football when I've had the chance, you know. It's one of the things like the Copa del Rey in Spain. It doesn't interest me unless it gets to the final. Like the two legs of, uh, in the rounds before are just boring to me. Yeah, I did read something today though. Barcelona are the first team ever to get to. Eight semi-finals in a row, or something like really? that. Which ah, it's not really that surprising, is it? I mean, the amount, the amount of records that they break, it's kind of like, oh yeah, okay, here's a new one. Oh. I mean, it's, I've kind of back in the day, La Liga was class, but I kind of gone off it this season. Don't don't really watch it too much. Don't like it. Yeah. I tell you, if there's a club competition to, uh, that to check out, is the Coup de France, hmm. um, the, the French FA Cup, because you know how the FA Cup has like teams from all across England. Yeah. Well, the Coup de France has teams from all across France, including their overseas collectivities in Réunion, Tahiti, oh, New no Caledonia. Way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And, and wow. obviously, like, they, they, cool. if they get far into the competition, they have to play games in, Metropo- in, like, in France 
So like, <laughs> you got to fly back to New Caledonia. New Caledonia is down beside like uh, New Zealand, isn't it? Yeah, Australia. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's like Tahiti away. What an away game that would be. Oh yeah, <laughs> class. Huh? Um, oh here, I didn't give you my uh, my tip. I have a tip for tonight for the NBA. Um, cool. It's at one o'clock in the morning UK time tonight. So the 76ers, Philadelphia 76ers, they're, uh, they're taking on the Miami Heat. And um, so I found a couple of interesting stats here. And when Miami Heat are underdog, they've won 60% of their matches. So they should be priced in and around 2.2, 2.3, ju- just based on that alone. Now, obviously, there's a lot more stuff to, to think about. But uh, just looking at the prices, uh, they're currently at 2.6. So there's value there. If you think, um, you know, if you think that's good enough, but, um, there was another one as well. Yeah, when when the Heat have been away uh, underdogs and have had the handicap. Now I know that's a lot to think of. So when they're away underdogs with a handicap of between two and a half and five and a half, they've won eighty percent of their games, and the handicap here is four. So based on that, um, they should be winning sixty percent of their time based on the price they're at now. But with the handicap, they should win 80% of the time. So uh, Miami Heat plus four at 1.9 is my NBA tip for tonight. That's pretty good. Yeah, I was just looking like a couple in quite a few places. The lines were 3.5, so four's four's even good. Yeah, uh, four's decent. And uh, yeah, it was one. Uh, I know this is after timing, but I had uh, what do you call it yesterday? Milwaukee or Washington Wizards to win yesterday, and I didn't. I didn't have time to make a bloody video. Was was that against the Raptors? Uh, yeah, yeah, they won. Yeah, I, had the, I had the Raptors. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, the Raptors were well. The Raptors were well. Well, 1.6, 1.7, weren't they? I don't remember. And uh, yeah, the Wizards, the Wizards were like 2.3. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, so I'll keep it a goal. Like, anyway, I didn't. It's after timing. So I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't I didn't give it out yesterday. Um, Super Bowl, lads, give us your predictions. Eagles. Eagles. Somebody <laughs> to break his leg. <laughs> Sing you some. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I have, I have a tip for that for Sunday as well, and that's just based on some notes uh, I gave out in, in the podcast on, uh, on, on Thursday, yesterday. Um, under 48 at 1.9. The Pats have been under in 9 out of 16. The Eagles have also been under in 9 out of 16 of their, of their games to the finals. So I think under 48 looks all right. It's the kind of thing, though, that um, I will do on an exchange and yeah. if it's going into the third quarter and it's around, you know, 36-ish, then I'd, I'd trade out for whatever profit is there because it, it depends how the game is looking as well. Because you, you know yourself, Tom Brady can do anything with an American yeah. with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with an American football. Um, he flights it. That's why you put that. Come in. I set them up, Dan, and you just hit them right out of the park. <laughs> yeah, so uh, under, under 48 in the Super Bowl for me. Um, yeah. All right. Um, and now, then, fellas, before we sign off. Um, Sunday tip for me. Um, oh, sorry, actually, yeah. actually, initially, I went for the same tip as Dan, um, but I've switched because obviously we won't have the same tip. Um, gone for Palace to beat Newcastle at 2.05. I think that's pretty good value in the early kickoff, uh, quarter past two UK time on Sunday. Yeah, just been impressed with Palace against us. I went to the game and they're very, they're set up very very well, defensively solid. They don't give the ball away too much either, and they and they run around for each other. They're pressing all the time. Just don't really give you much time on the ball. Um, and on the counter attack as well, they're great. And I'm, I'm not sure Newcastle can cope with that. Um, and you know it proves like Newcastle around about four point zero to win the game, which. Um, it's probably about accurate, um, and yeah, they don't like travelling south either. They're, you know, they've lost. Um, no, they've only won. Sorry, three away games in the last two years in the league. Um, so I can't see them getting anything at Palace. I think Palace are in a good run of form under Hodgson. Yeah, good stuff. I tell us we're happy enough. Yeah, I've got one too. Oh, <laughs> I've got one too. Um, I actually also <laughs> would, have back, would back Palace, so I agree with that one. Uh, my tip uh, comes from French League 1, uh, game between Stade Rene and Guignol. Um, 
Gunyampa in a tailspin to start the year. They've, they've lost four in a row. Uh, Stade Rene haven't been brilliant, but their, their home form's pretty good. And at one point on six, they have value to beat Gunyampa. Uh, on Sunday. So that's who I was back. I want to get the Afrasako Ren shirt. Yeah, apparently he's injured for Sunday. Really? Apparently. Yeah. Interesting. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, Mark, while you're here, what's all the all this this controversy going on at uh, at West Ham at the minute with your man? Uh, uh, surname is Henry, isn't it? Yeah, Tony Mr. Henry, Henry, Tony Henry. Yeah, that's right. Um, He's been suspended by the club pending a full investigation over basically racist slurs against against the African players at West Ham. Um, yeah. Basically saying that he doesn't want to, doesn't want West Ham to sign any any African players moving forward because they cause too much bother. Um, I don't too much mayhem. Yeah, that's it. That's the exact quote. Too much mayhem. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a stupid thing to say, and I'm glad we've suspended him because obviously he's the only one that thinks that. Uh, I don't think the rest of the club think that at all. So dealt with. Um, obviously, it'd be investigated, and hopefully, he doesn't return to the club. There's no way he'll return. What? It, I mean, God, am like 2018, and still people are saying stuff like that. It's awful. Yeah. Just ridiculous. Like, God, if you're going to be a racist, keep it to yourself at least. You know, awful. And. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, any other news, lads, that you saw today? Um, nothing jumping out. It's just a quick look. Oh, oh, oh I, give, I saw one on you know uh, Lucas Moura going from PSG to Spurs. Have, did you hear what his uh, PSG manager said, uh, Una Emery? No. So he has blamed Moura for being a secret agent from the media who was leaking everything to the press. Interesting. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's maybe that's why the price was so low. They just wanted to get rid of him. Maybe, maybe you never know uh, these kind of things. How much truth is, is to it? But there, there's always one or two lads at the club who, at, at, at any club, who will leak stuff uh, to the media in their own kind of interest. You know, it's, it's, I've gone. Uh, I'm just, just going to cut in. I'm just looking at news. I've just found a very funny story. Uh, a Lithuanian side called FK. Oh God, I can't pronounce it. Pan Panevitsa or something like that, they have signed um, Barkley Miguel Panzo based on his Wikipedia stats, which he <laughs> has admitted that are completely made up. <laughs> Set 30, 45 goals in 36 games for QPR in 2010 to 2012. <laughs> 17 goals in 22 games for AC uh, Noir Foot. Um, yeah, he's come out and said that those stats are completely made up, and they signed him based on those stats, apparently. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's class. Um, That's class. Right, lads, so we'll finish up then. Uh, Martin, remind us of your tips there quickly. Yeah, guys, come and, um, come and say hello on Twitter at ProTips to ENG or Facebook ProTips to Martin. Cool. Give, give, us your tips. give us your tips there quickly again, Martin. Uh, right, okay. Arsenal, Everton both seem to score at 1.90 and Palace to beat Newcastle at one at 2.05. And you as well, Dan, please. Um, Blackburn to beat Plymouth, 1.74. Stad Rene to beat Guignon at 1.96. Right. And where are you on Twitter? I'm ProTips to Dan on Twitter, all one word. You can also find me on Facebook, uh, ProTips to Dan. All one what, was, what was your tip, really? Yeah, so mine was uh, Miami Heat plus uh, plus four. That's tonight. That's around one a.m. UK time. And the second tip was uh, under under forty eight in the Super Bowl final on Sunday night. The uh, Patriots versus the Eagles. Um, yeah, you can get me on Twitter if you want. Pro Tips or Pod. You can hurl your reviews at me. And um, uh, yeah, and uh, I'm on Facebook as well. Pro Tips or Paddy. And the three of us were always available on the Facebook page here where you're watching this. So don't be shy if you've any questions or comments at all, uh, if you've any, especially if you've any questions about the Pro Tipster website as well. We're here to help you out and how to get the best out of the website. Look, that's it then from the three of us. We'll be back on, uh, I suppose we'll be back on Monday, gentlemen, will we? Of course we will. Yeah, we will. All right, then. So I'll see you we'll then. All right. Enjoy your wedding, Martin. See you, Dan. Thanks very Bye. much. Bye, dear, list dear, dear listener, dear viewer. Right, take it easy. Bye-bye. Enjoy the football. Bye. Ciao. I
I mean, it's just kicking a mouse. Why does this not work? You know? Yeah. <laughs>